Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss how to calculate the minimum conductivity of a semiconductor. So in this case we will consider that our semiconductor material is a intrinsic material. Now the conductivity this term we denote this conductivity by sigma. So we can say that the sigma value we know that it is n into q into mu n plus p into q into mu p. So the n term is the electron concentration in the intrinsic semiconductor and the p term denotes the whole concentration inside the semiconductor and mu n and mu p value are the mobility value of the electron and hole respectively and q is the electronic charge so when the conductivity value will be minimum then we know that the electron concentration can be written as ni root over mu p divided by mu n. So, this is the equation that will give the electron concentration when the conductivity value is minimum. Similarly, the whole concentration value at minimum conductivity can be written as ni root over mu n by mu p. So, this is the whole concentration of the semiconductor when the conductivity value will be minimum. Now, we want to calculate the minimum conductivity. So, if we substitute these two value in the equation 1, then we can say we can get the minimum conductivity value. So, for that case, let us put the value of n and p in this equation number 1. So, from equation number 1, we can write that sigma minimum value can be written as ni into root over mu p value divided by mu n value into q into mu n plus if we put the value of p then it will be ni root over mu n value divided by mu p value into q into mu p. So, from this equation if I take q and ni common then it will be mu p divided by mu n root over into mu n plus mu n divided by mu p root over into mu p. Further, we can simplify the equation like this. It will be root over mu p into mu n plus root over mu n into mu p. So, it will be 2 root over so, we can write q into ni into 2 into root over mu p into mu n. So, this is the minimum conductivity value. So, this equation will give the minimum conductivity value of the intrinsic semiconductor. 
so in this way we can calculate the minimum conductivity value for an intrinsic semiconductor and this equation of minimum conductivity value is also applicable to both n type and p type semiconductor so this is how we can calculate the minimum conductivity value in a semiconductor thank you